Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to come and just give you a update on um, things that are going on with me and uh, in the near future. So um, if you saw my last video, I gave you my final thoughts on my um, Life with 360 BBL that I had back in June of last year. And um, with me not being completely happy with my results, I wanted to look into getting a round two BBL. And um, it had me doing my research. So, of course, I looked all over. You know, we know there's doctors in Miami. There's doctors. There's doctors all over. Um, but I didn't necessarily want to go to Miami. Um, I was trying to see the best way to get what I want and still try to save some money because I did spend a lot of money on my first surgery especially for it to not come out the way that I think it should have. Um, and that's not including like the plane ticket and all the aftercare products you have to buy. Like I spent a lot of money on that first surgery. Um, so um, I was doing my research and um, one of my surgery sisters who actually contacted me before I had my surgery um, she had told me about a doctor she was going to, but she had told me a week before I was supposed to be flying out. At that point, I'd already paid for everything, um, and I was pretty set on on going to um, Minnesota. Um, but she told me about the doctor she went to. So anyways, afterwards, after me having my surgery and after, you know, everything came to light, um, I spoke with her again, and she told me, like, go to this doctor. You are not going to be disappointed. And I live in Virginia. Um... For those of you who don't know and come to find out there's a really 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 good doctor um in virginia now doing my research before i went and you know went to minnesota i couldn't find anybody like if you were to google like a 360 bbl doctors um in virginia it gives you a lot of mediocre doctors like doctors that are charging all this money and you have no ass in return so of course i was like you know everyone thinks that in their hometown or in their home state, you're not going to find what you want. Um, unless you're in Miami or some something like that. But for the most of for the rest of us, um, usually we feel like we can't find anybody here. So I didn't know that this amazing doctor was right here in my own backyard. Um, and he actually has two locations here. One in uh, Tyson's McLean, uh, Virginia. And one in Woodbridge, Virginia. Um, both of the locations are really, really close to me. Um, one is really close to my job and the other one is close to my home. So I'm like, this is wild that this doctor is right here this whole time. And I went all the way across the world for nothing, basically. So anyways, um, so I ended up doing a, um, or sending an email for a consultation. And this was back in November of 2020. I looked into getting a consultation and his dates for a consult was, at the, the closest I can get was May 25th of 2021. And back in November, I was like, you know, whatever, I'll take what I, you know, whatever. I wasn't in a rush to get the surgery. I just wanted to be able to get more conversation around the possibilities. So I went ahead and booked that uh, consultation. I joined some groups on Facebook and just been, you know, watching everyone, seeing what everyone's talking about, looking at his results, watching his Instagram. And, um, sorry, um, watching his Instagram and like really starting to really like what I was seeing. So, um, the doctor that I am talking about, I'm gonna keep on suspense anymore. The do um, doctor, uh, Cordestani, he has a practice called RK Plastic Surgery. And I told y'all um, where it was in Virginia. And um, the thing that I like about him, first of all, is his um, bedside manner. Although I haven't physically been in bed, you know, had my surgery yet. Like, I emailed him. So I emailed his team um, after I got my consult date. I emailed his team because I started seeing girls saying that you could send in pictures to get your consult date. Cause you, okay, let me back up for a second. So you, you can't get your surgery date until you have your consultation. And I saw girls talking about they they sent their pictures in to get a date before their consultation. So I tried to do that. So I was emailing him um, and it was taking a while for a response on the email pictures and, and, and just stuff in general because Dr. K 
wants to email you and talk to you personally. So his staff is not is not checking his emails and emailing you. It is it's him taking his time out to email you personally, which I genuinely could appreciate because I didn't get the same thing, you know, with my first one. Um although uh my first surgery, he I didn't have any I didn't have any any bad um like communicational experiences, I guess, in the beginning with him. Um, but at the same time, there really wasn't any communication with him. Um, but with Dr. K, there was tons of communication um, once he was able to get to my email. So he got to my email. Um, I sent my, email, my pictures in. They looked. He looked it over. This is before I was able to talk to him personally. He looked it over, and his team sent me a quote for... Um, I asked about a um, breast lift with augmentation, Leopard 360 BBL, because he does do multiple procedures in one time because he does practice. In, I mean, he does his um, surgeries in a hospital, um, a core hospital in Virginia. So there's so many things that go along with doing your surgeries in like a private practice, a surgical facility and doing it in a hospital. There's more you can do because you are in a hospital. There are more certifications and things that more ways to make sure your doctor is certified because they are in a hospital. There's certain things they have to have, licenses and certain things they have to have within the state that they're doing their um, surgeries and, and working in the hospital in um, that you're almost certain your doctor is going to be certified the way that he needs to be to do this surgery because the, the hospitals don't play. Privilege, hospital privileges, they don't play when it comes to that. Like, you got to have them, especially in Virginia and Maryland. So they don't play that. So I love the fact that it was kind of like a, it gave me an extra security to know that he practices in a hospital and I know he's going to have the credentials he needs to do the surgeries he's going to be doing. So he does do multiple surgeries at one time. Um, so they gave me a quote on my Leopard 360. No, they gave me a quote on the um, breast lift and the augmentation. Um, he told me based on my pictures, he didn't feel like I had enough fat to do a BBL. And I'll show you the pictures. I, I'll show you somewhat, so, um, something similar to the pictures I showed him. Um, and I'll also insert a picture of my quote for y'all. Um, but he didn't think that I had enough or whatever. And that's what I really, really want is the is the butt. Like, of course I want my breasts, but I really, really, really wanted the butt. So later on, I ended up having a conversation with him through Instagram. I emailed, I messaged him through Instagram and he responded back to me, not immediately, but he did get back, get back in touch with me. And he was very, very pleasant, very, very sweet, very understanding, very, um, responsive. When we started talking, like he was messaging me on weekends. I didn't expect him to respond on weekends. He responded to stuff on weekends and he was just very, very, very polite. It was like a breath of fresh air dealing with him. And I asked him again, you're like, I sent different pictures, like, you know, maybe we'll, in, in the consult, can you look and see? Because I feel like I have fat that you can't really see or tell that much in my pictures because of how my stomach is. Um, I was like, but I haven't had surgery on my thighs. I haven't had lipo on my thighs and my arms. Maybe we could take some from there. I don't need any hips. You know, I was just pleading my case, you know? So he said, um, I was like, do you think maybe if that, if we can't do the actual like transfer, do you think maybe just, um, doing some sculpting of my, you know, my hips area, my sides or whatever could kind of give me the the look that I'm um, looking for because he does high def lipo. Baby, he is amazing when it comes to high def lipo. Like if y'all don't know, if y'all haven't checked out his stuff, I'm going to leave all of, his, all of his information in the description um, bar for you. Y'all need to check him out, but he does his thing. He does his thing. So I was like, you know, I would be okay with getting some high def lipo if I can't do the BBL like I want to because he does a really good job and, you know, with the breast being done, it's going to look really good. So, um, I asked him if, you know, at my consult, could we talk about it more and see, you know, how things go. So right now, um, he was, he was just a local home, you know, a local doctor, but he blew up so fast. Like, like I said, I didn't know anything about him and he is really good. And y'all are going to see for yourself. He is really good. So people are like booking him now. And he's like, Insta, Insta famous is coming. Like he's, he's getting there. So, He's like, he's booked. <laughs> he's booked. Consults are booked. Uh, surgeries are booked. And um, because he does it at a hospital, there's only you know there's only a certain amount of dates he can have per, at a at a time to um to be able to do to do surgery. So it's not like a in clinic where he can do like five or six people at a time like Miami does. Um, there's other surgeries going on in the hospital, and they got to share the operating room. So so they gave me a date. 
And uh, the date they gave me was September 13th. And it's a three and a half hour surgery. And that's just for the breast. But when I talked to him about possibly doing other things, he said he would need about 30 more minutes if we were going to be doing the high-def lipo. And depending on what other surgeries are happening in the hospital that day, he may or may not be able to do it that day. We might have to push my date back, you know, whatever. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Um, and my consult May 25th. When I go to my consult, I'm just going to talk to him about everything, let him see. And if my date has to get pushed back for me to get exactly what I want, I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm not in a rush. Like, I want to get what I want. And I want to get it when it's supposed to happen. So... On May 25th, I have my, my consult to see if I can get everything that I want to get done. Um, but I did get a phone call like a few days ago um, because I did put myself on a cancellation list, you know, just in case. Um, and this is when I was just thinking I was going to get my breast done. I was like, well, you know, let's just go ahead and get it done if I can get it done. But I did put myself on a cancellation list and they did call me and my new surgery date is June 21st um, of 2021. They are completely booked. 2021 and i from what i've seen and what i've heard they have not opened up their books for 2022 they plan on opening them up in june when i tell you this man blew up he blew up and he is like busy they are like they didn't expect this and it's just really 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 busy but he's so good um so yeah that that's that's the that's that's what's been happening that's my research that's what's been going on i'll leave anything i might have left out i'll put it in the description for y'all um because I might have left out some details, but um, I'm excited about this because, I mean, first of all, I had really, really, really big boobs back when I was big. Then I lost all my weight, so then I had really, really saggy boobs. And they just really, really saggy and disgusting, and I'm just ha so happy that I'm going to be able to not have to worry about saggy, nasty old boobs anymore, like... Who wants it? First of all, I don't want it. I don't want to see it, let alone let my husband see it. Um... I just, you know, they all over the place. You turn it over, one's still sitting over there. Like, you know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So I ain't trying to deal with that no more. And I'm happy I ain't going to have to. Oh, one almost, I don't even know how I forgot about this. So one of the most important things or the most, like, the thing that had me so excited about him, is he, he does in-house financing. So you don't got to go run your credit, do nothing like that. He does in-house financing. And that means um, I am paying currently right now $400 a month for my surgery and then after i have my surgery i just continue paying payments you don't got to have your 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 surgery paid up before you have your surgery um parts of your surgery because he does it in the hospital parts of your surgery you can actually try to get covered by your insurance so like all of the um like the hospital fees and stuff like that most insurance covers hospital stays and they have something you know most of them have that depending on your plan you can get that covered by the by your insurance so it's like I don't know why and how I didn't find him before. Like, I could have saved myself so much heartache, so much money. Um, but I am happy that I found him now. If you have any additional questions, please don't, I mean, please feel free to ask, reach out to me. Y'all know I'm an open book. I'm going to tell y'all like it is. I have no issues. Um, if you haven't already entered into my giveaway, make sure you check out my video that I have linked below um, explaining the giveaway that I got going on through the month of March. Um, the last day of the giveaway is April 1st. I might extend it. We'll see, but um, make sure you go ahead and enter into that giveaway because I'm giving away a lot of good shit. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love y'all, and I will keep y'all posted on everything. Make sure you're following all my social media because you know your girl got updates for y'all. But um, I will talk to you later. Bye.